everyone. Theresa May has a couple of different residences. Sometimes she lives in number 10 Downing Street, sometimes Checkers, but for the most part she's living in fear and denial. She's also living in cloud cuckoo land as she flies off this weekend to get the EU to sign off on her deal under the misapprehension that a majority of MPs will vote for it too when it comes back to Westminster. When you see the Prime Minister talking about how great an idea her deal is, it very much reminds me of a contestant on The Apprentice proposing some mad idea like baby toys made out of lead or a steak and kidney flavoured chocolate cake. I suppose the irony actually is that Sir Alan Sugar is actually in the House of Lords and will be voting on this deal. The latest agreement is in many ways designed to effectively keep Britain within the EU's framework of laws and regulations, whilst allowing Theresa May to somehow claim that Brexit has apparently happened. I have imagined that in a few months' time she might give a speech from the new Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier with a big mission accomplished banner behind her like George W. Bush did one year into that never-ending expensive quagmire of deceit and murder. There's also been an attempt by Downing Street to make Mrs May look professional by squaring down Spain after a spat about Gibraltar that was likely planned weeks in advance. In truth, the Spanish veto was never on the cards because it's not even an issue due to majority voting, and any written assurance to work on the issue is probably worth less than the paper it's printed on, possibly less than the paper a verbal statement isn't printed on. The only positive thing really to come out of Mrs May's trip to Europe is that the local news is likely giving a lot of coverage to the fuel riots in Paris. Perhaps you'll get a sense of what might happen in the UK if she's not too careful about things. Although, to be fair, the French wouldn't have to worry about the cost of petrol so much if they weren't setting fire to so much of it in the streets. Anyway. See you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.